Hello friend, it's Pat Sloan here and the very first thing I have to show you is I've been able to get my ring on. These are the rings that I was wearing when I fell and broke both my wrists last June. And this is the first time I've been able to get them both on. I do have to wiggle them over that knuckle and honestly I can't even remember if I have to wiggle them over the knuckle prior. The left hand is still not 100%, it's not as good as the right, but it is so much better. I have a wonderful uh, doctor who I've been working with who does rehab after surgeries, that's his specialty, and so this has been just fantastic. So I'm writing him today to tell him, because I do have another appointment with him at the beginning of next year to see where things are because it's an extremely slow process to get this swelling down on the left hand. It still has a little bit. It's still, you know, it hurts to do this, there's things like that. It's not, you know, aches would be, probably be a better word, but I could not get my rings on. And he's like, it, it'll get there. It looks like it'll get there. I don't see, he says, put some soap on your ring and push it down. <laughs> so the other day I tried it and all of a sudden it went on. Um, also, it's a little cooler now, so that helps because your hands, you know, my hands always swell and even before they were broken, they would swell a little bit when it was really humid. So I am just, I am thrilled. I am thrilled. It's like, ah, I can wear my rings again. I just feel like that makes it, you know, almost 100% you know, get those on. So, and I can close my hand pretty good. You know, not first thing in the morning. Don't ask me to do it then, but uh, not soon after once it gets kind of warmed up. Okay. So first of all, the, the calendar today is pumpkin pie day, which means I would love to see quilts. This is a show and tell day. Uh, so I want to see quilts that have pumpkins on them or orange fabric. So you can go either way. I'm going to show you mine from Celebrate the Seasons. Here are my super cute little pumpkins. This is a fun little applique project uh, from that book. It's actually on the co cover of that one. Here we go. Those of you who like to see the backing, this one's kind of boring, it's beige. <laughs> so there's my pumpkin. Okay, I do want to, had a couple questions that I want to answer from the uh, wave stitch with the, the Reese, the Holly Jolly Reese. So a couple people were asking me, uh, and I want to answer. So you, I do use my walking foot. So I use the walking foot on these, which um, is, a, my walking foot is fairly wide the actual foot plate. So here is my foot plate. It's a pretty wide foot plate. I know that some of you have walking feet that yours is not nearly this wide. I am using the edge of it to distance. That's all I'm doing. I'm not marking. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just using the edge of this foot and going a little bit wider, like maybe an eighth of an inch. And I, I kind of eyeball that you know, going across, but I also will, like on this one, I started where there was a seam on one of them. I started somewhere where there was a seam, so I kind of use that as a starting point, but you want to be sure because going across on a straight line, it t you can tend to wave, you know, or veer down and not keep straight. So if you feel like that's an issue, you could, uh, you know, mark on the other side where you're going to be going to. This isn't very wide, so I didn't feel any need to do anything like that. I just kind of watched across, particularly since there are lines. You know, I have lines uh, all along here that I can sort of aim towards to go across. So for this particular project, I didn't really have too many things I needed to do, do extra. All right, I have a uh, oopsie on the layout for the holiday celebrations. One of the pieces I wrote the finish size instead of the cut size. So right above the shamrocks that you're doing, that sashing piece should be 14 inches. I put a new um, PDF up, so if you want to print it out, but you can just uh, write it on yours. You don't really need to do to print it all out again. Sorry about that. Let me get a bunch of bunch of stuff. So the cross stitch. I basically, I feel like I'm, I finished November way early. I got the little uh, turkey done and I just think he is so darn cute. Isn't they cute? Oh, I don't actually have them totally done. I have to do the leaves. So I'm finishing the leaves today down here. That'll be, that'll be it. I have to do some orange ones, finish the yellow ones, do the orange ones right along the bottom. So now I have that 
spot here that I want to do something a little bit different. And I've decided that I would do one of these from the uh, stitch cards. And I'm going to do either the presents or the trees because I want to do the snow that goes around the bottom like is on the first block with the snowman. And I'm thinking either the, pre the presents will fill that block up like full. And I can do, if I do the snow first, then I can build the presents in there. If I do the snow, if I do the trees, I would just do the trees. I would not do the snow globe. I'd just do the trees. And then I would do snow in the sky. So which would you do? Tell me, tell me in the comments here at YouTube. Uh, I would love to know which would you do, trees with snow falling or the presents. Both will have snow along the rim to mirror the first one. So I have to keep on top of that though because there's a lot of extra around that uh, border for December. So there's a lot around here and I, I will continue working on that now so that I can get ahead. I'm also going to do start this guy for, for uh, my tree. There's a bunch of these. They have some really cute ones with cardinals. They have a darling one with a penguin. They have some that are not shaped like um, the, uh, not, you know, not shaped like a sweater. You know, they have other ones that are not. So I'll link you everything down below to all of them because in case you want one, they're just super cute. I think it'll stitch up pretty quick. Uh, it doesn't look like that'll take long. So yes, I have a lovely mail call from some of our friends here first. Uh, I'll do some cards that I got. This is a card from Martha. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. I think this is a card from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, so they must print up some cards. And this super sweet one is from Debbie. Look at that. That's a quail, right? I don't know. His name is Caesar. The artist is Vicki Sawyer. I like the bow on the head. <laughs> And then Dawn sent me this beautiful card. I love some, I love the yellow. Just, those are gerber daisies. This is so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you Mwah. for the wonderful get well or happiness cards. And then Sandra sent me some goodies. Sandra sent me a package of what we will call basics, basic stripes, Pla well plaids, and then some awesome stripes to add for me to use. Uh, gorgeous gingham. I have a friend who loves gingham, my friend Ann. She probably would try to steal that. Uh, this is a gray, look, this would be good for the um, happy everything. It's got the gray in it. And then the sort of coral stripe and this beautiful deserty type. This is wonderful. Look at that. Looks like sky, looks like a sunset. Woo, love it. Thank you, Sandra. Mwah. I love, 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 love. This is so sweet. I also decided that I needed to get the fabrics that were all the other fabrics in the line for the border I got for uh, ha uh, Happy Everything. That gray border I got. I just think, why didn't I get that whole bundle? So <laughs> here it is. I got, it's called Through the Woods. And we're just gonna take a look at it because it has amazing owls. Like these are so incredible. There's, well, see, there's a, so let's take a look. There's a really pretty dot. And then here is the owls. I love that. I love owls. Look at these. They look a lot like the owl I put on the, the cross stitch. You know, it'd be white owl. And this is, here is the one that I got for the border. Okay, there's the one that I got for the border. And it also came in that same with the light. And then there's these beautiful butterflies, or are they moths? You guys are always correcting me on moths and butterflies. I don't know the difference. I need to find something to make with this. The owls came on gray. So there's the owls on gray as well. Look at him, doesn't he look elegant? I love it. And then the little dots again on gray. Then there's this kind of moon and stars print. I'm always attracted to these, these kind of moon and star prints. I just think they're wonderful. I don't know what it is about them. The butterflies, moss on gray. And then a light gray. So it's a light, there's a darker gray and a light gray with the owls. 
there's a light gray here. This also comes in the light gray and the light gray. And then the ferns, the ferns are really nice. I really like that. I have a piece of fabric with um, beige with green ferns, a big piece from years ago that I'm like saving for something special. There, this is wonderful with the white acorns and then the mums. I love that. And this is yellow. This is like my favorite shade of yellow. Oh my goodness, I love it. And with the print and the, oh, all of this. This is a fat eighth bundle. So it is uh, half of a fat quarter. So it's bigger than like getting a layer cake. So you have a bit more fabric than a layer cake. So basically if I had like a layer cake fab uh, pattern that I liked and I wanted to make that pattern a little bit bigger, this would be enough to do that. Uh, I'll have to look around, see what's, what's out there for this because it's so cute. I also, at the same time, picked up some, uh, some note, note paper from my friend uh, Stacy from Gingerbur because I, I need a new notepad. These are so cute. And she had Christmas cards. She had a pack of Christmas cards. Let me show you them. They are wonderful. Look at the snowman. Look at him. Look how cute he is. And then she also decorated the backs of her cards. So nice. There is the mug, warm and cozy. And she's got the stripe on the back. I like that because, you know, sometimes your cards are seen from the back. How do you do your cards? Do you hang them, string them, set them up on the mantle? Here's a Merry Christmas, but look at the back. So cute. And a lot of these things end up as, as sometimes you'll see them in her fabric lines and the sweet mittens. There we go on the back. So I picked these up too because I thought, you know, while I'm there, while I'm there ordering fabric, I might as well get some paper and cards. Um, all right, a couple of other things. I am working on the December calendar so that I can have that second page of our December calendar with what we'll be working on and get that all organized because I really uh, want to have that done before I go have surgery on Tuesday. So that means I can, I'll show you on Monday, I'll, I'll have it done. And I'm gonna tell you now, but I'll tell you again on Monday, my schedule for next week. On Monday, I will only do a morning, I'll just do the video in the morning. I'm not gonna do it in the evening because in the evening I have to prep uh, because I have to get up very early. So which means I have to shower and prep my skin for surgery and then I have to go to bed early and I just, it's just gonna be stressful and I don't want to have to uh, be online uh, at a certain time. So, you know, that we'll have to do that. Uh, that'll have to be, you know, morning only video on Monday. Tuesday is surgery, I'm not doing any video. I am pre-recording Wednesday for our wet fall frolic and I will be no video on Thanksgiving day uh, Friday, which is my birthday, I have pre-recorded the video already. And then Saturday, um, most likely I will have a video on Saturday, um, pre-recorded. I, it, you know, that's the one that's iffy. We'll see how much I get done here um, before, before Saturday comes, you know, <laughs> before, before Monday. Anyway, that's kind of where it is. Uh, I will post on Facebook and at the YouTube community tab, if you look at the community tab here at YouTube, I will start putting notes in there. I would like to start using that. So that for those of you who are not on Facebook, but on YouTube, you can always go there and see sort of updates. Um, so I'm gonna start using that and I'll put a picture there and hopefully Tuesday night <clears throat> or late afternoon when I get back I will do an update and then I will go ahead and update the Wednesday blog post so that at some point I don't think I will do it Tuesday but I will you know, may, maybe who knows we'll see how I feel um, but I will do it sometime on Wednesday for the fall frolic I'll put a note in there and send show you a picture of where I ended up how I end up after Tuesday surgery okay my friends I love you Mwah. see you online